Today we are going to test the active track of the DJI Air 2S on my electric unicycle. I thought uh, I would uh, just go down here on the parking lot uh, next to where I live and simply test out how well the performance is when it's going to track me riding my electric unicycle. I played a little bit with the parallel track last time I was uh, down visiting my father and <laughs> the result was kind of not very encouraging because it sort of clipped some branches and almost fell out of the sky. So today we are on a surface, flat surface, uh, where it basically can't hit anything. So I just want to check out how well it tracks on the, the different uh, parallel track and as well as uh, the trace when I'm riding the electric unicycle. And in case you don't know an electric unicycle, that's basically a single wheel with some pedals on each side, a big hub motor, a battery and some control electronics that will make it keep the balance. And the one that I'm riding is uh, called a Kingston KS18XL, and that is a quite powerful wheel. It's uh, capable of running up to 50 kilometers an hour if you max it out. So that's something that you need to be really careful about uh, utilizing the full power of this wheel. It can also ride almost 100 kilometers on a single charge. If you're interested in learning more about electric unicycles, then let me know in the comment below because then I can do a separate video about uh, those fantastic wheels and, and maybe bring you along next time I'm out riding with the guys. But I really love it. It's really, really nice. So let's get the drone airborne first. That's pretty annoying. I need to repair every time that I switch between the smart controller and, uh, and the drone. So that's really annoying. So let's just make sure that everything is set here like we want it to be. And we're gonna record this in D-Log M so it gets as much details as possible uh, recorded in the footage. Let's just check that. Camera, D-Log, and it's not called D-Log M, it's only called D-Log. It was on the Mavic 2 Pro, it was called D-Log M. So let's just see here what else we have left here. So everything is nice. I think the gimbal is not completely straight. All right. So let's get airborne. And we can change the resolution and all that nice stuff here afterward. Let's just put the drone here. Let's just check what we can do. Let's just mark the car here. So Spotlight is not available when recording in high frame rate. So we need to stop the video. And I know for a fact that we need to switch it down to 4K 30 FPS. Then everything is nice and we get all the options that we need. By the way, do you like my content? If you do, then consider subscribing to my weekly tips, tests and tutorials. Let's just go outside and uh, ride the electric unicycle. So the way we start this is we just mark me here with a square and then we need to take away this how to select a target, don't show again. So active track and we should do trace. And I need to start the video. And I press go. Like that. So now, it should start following me. And it's pretty windy here. Let's just try to get to the other side here. See if I can position it in the front of me. So let's just see. So I can actually use it to circle around me. So now it's in the front. That's always interesting. Because it never, DJI is never very good at this. And I'm sorry, I'm not in 100% shape of riding this wheel after my surgery. So now it's somehow it decides to stop. It will not go. <laughs> Let's just try it again. But, uh, but you can actually use this just to rotate it around you. 
It's very good at keeping me in frame, at least under these uh, light conditions here. So let's just put it here. We could take it out of, out of its misery, basically. Let's see what we can do, if we can make it. Follow me from the front here. Like this. Let's just straighten it up. Mar do a marking here. Do active track, trace, and go. So, let's see what's happening. And if I turn around here, see if it follows me back. And right now I have an ND16, I think it's ND8 mounted on the drone, I can't remember. I'll check when I get back into the car. So it is maybe a little bit too much. Let me just check the camera settings here. What I can do here is I can switch this into pro mode. Let's go in here, no, no. So the shutter is still not uh, too low. It's a bit underexposed here in the pro settings. So that's really nice. And put this one in auto, put this one in auto. Then I can actually see what the, what the parameters are. So it can follow me in the front, and I don't want this underexposed by, oh, let's just overexpose it by one step and start again. Okay, so let's stop here and uh, repeat the test where we put it in parallel track. That's an interesting scenario, because at least with the unicycle, that makes much more sense. So if I do this parallel and go, it should follow me on the side. But the crazy stuff here is that there is no protection at all. If there's something in front of the drone right now, then it would collide with it sideways. And that's basically what happened at my father's place. It was branching. So, stop here and uh, go the other way. Ooh. And if I push the sticks here, it's doing all sorts of crazy stuff. It's, it's like DJI never really got to the point where this tracking is, is good. I really hope that they would listen a little bit to Skydio because what they have been doing with the Skydio 2 is simply amazing. So, so I want this positioned in a way so it can follow me a little bit from the front here. And a little bit further down here. I don't know how far down I can go, but let's try this. So active track, parallel, Go. Let's see if it decides to kill me. <laughs> oh. See. But it's still lagging behind. I'm not riding very fast now. I'm riding maybe, I don't know, 20 kilometers an hour or so. So it's like, uh, if I decide to do something like this, what will happen? But it still tracks me. But it is not very predictable, that's for sure. And I hate that it doesn't have the side sensors, sensors to uh, protect it. That's for sure. Let's just do uh, one more test. Stop it here and uh, do one more test. Active track, trace, go. And then just do around here. Whoops. See what is going on, see if I can make it miss me.
So it still follows along. So under these conditions, it, it's, it's working pretty, pretty decent. But it's, as, say, as I said, not very predictable. So. so the filler that I have mounted today was, a, was an ND8. Uh, ND16 would be way too dark for this. So this was a demonstration of me riding uh, the electric unicycle uh, with the, the function with the active track functionality of the GGI Air 2S. And the conclusion is that, uh, as I said while I was out riding, that uh, it's not really that impressive. It's, uh, it doing, it's doing its job and it uh, kept tracking me, but it is not really predictable. Um, this is definitely something that uh, I would expect DJI would need to work a lot more on, at least to impress uh, those of you that have seen the Skydio and what that is capable of. I know also that's a different beast and uh, if you compare these two drones, they are designed for two completely uh, different purposes. You could probably say the same about the Skydio's video capabilities, that's not even close to what you can do with the DJI Air 2S. But um, there's definitely something to be expected once they make a Mavic uh, 3 where they hopefully add some more sensors that will protect the drone when you are racing around like this. And this active track test was pretty simple because there was not that many obstacles around that it could collide with. Maybe I could repeat it in a different environment where there are more obstacles around riding my electric unicycle to see how much of a difference that does. By the way, are you also excited about the DJI Air 2S as much as I am? Then I've compiled a playlist with all the videos that I've made about this fantastic drone and you can access those through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.